I hope you really watched and enjoyed that video and noticed that beautiful girl in that video. Somebody is feeling but herself. But apart from that beautiful video, Vixen, we have a very beautiful, handsome man, <laughs> you know, who actually came ready for the Valentine. I'm, I was a little confused, like, is it Valentine or is it Christmas we are doing? <laughs> His name is Bolly Lomo and he's our guest today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, guys. Bolly Lomo, what's going on with this, uh, your outfit? I was going to come in all right eh? because uh -uh. I don't joke with Valentine's. Valentine's is a period that um, I need my enemies... <laughs> And my lovers to know that I'm, I have love in my heart. So I was going to wear red trouser, red shade. But I thought that they can think I'm a Shongo worship. <laughs> but my people just have kept you here. You have a red chair. Exactly. <laughs> but I thought to just, you know, a little bit of, just turn it down. Okay. Uh, interesting. I hope that enemies and friends and foes have seen Boli Lomo and see that he has love in his life. Do you really have love in your life? In my heart, I said life. Not oh. life, in my heart. Okay, so no. there's no love in your life? Like a girlfriend? Uh, mm. No. Why? It's good. It's the best way to live Valentine's. So you are single as number one? What do you mean? Like number one is single now, yes? Oh, yeah, very, like number one. So what did you do today? Um, I abused everybody that was Valentining. <laughs> I abused all of them. I was doing um, advocate or the kind of gift to buy. I was doing mm -hmm. people that, some people would buy gifts for themselves. They would not post anonymous saying this to me. <laughs> I abused all of them. And I abused people that were abusing people that, oh, so you give somebody Twix and Bounty as Valentine's chocolate. So all I've just doing is just abusing them. But I do not collect anything. Okay, okay. <laughs> so. so now speaking of um, gifts, have yeah. you ever gotten boxers and singlets before? Um, no, absolutely not. But I've gotten, I think the worst, Valen this is why I don't really, really do Valentine's, because I've gotten clipper. I, it but clipper is not a bad gift now. Bad. No, I save it. Why are you buying me clipper? For your hair and your beard. No, clipper and cutting board. That is the worst gift. I I know <laughs> if I see that girl. Okay. Now. Beyond what you have got, <laughs> what have you given? Oh, wow. Yes. I don't joke with Valentine. I can see the way I'm dressing. So what have you given? Hundies. Who is this guy? We need to please come and take him out of our set. <laughs> what is all this? No, no, no. But um, I haven't I haven't given a lot of gifts. But I I think that I give decent gifts. Okay. It has to be. What I think they told me that they like, maybe clothes or like jewelry. All right. Okay, so, so do you think Valentine should only just be between a man and a woman? No, it could be between everybody. Okay. But it's a th it's a thing of um, it has turned to a thing of man and woman, mm. or man and many women. I don't know how this word is pronounced, but I think it's, it's either Galentine or Jalentine. But it was, uh, you know, it evolved from women. Mm. There was a film back in the day. So basically, it's the thirteenth of of February, where single ladies celebrate themselves, celebrate their friends and sisterhood. Right. And there's also Single Awareness Day, which is 15th of February. Tomorrow. So it's going to be your day of celebration. So it's not today for no, us. No, no, no it's tomorrow. No problem. Good. Tomorrow. What's the color for that one? So I, I'm ready. I, I didn't really know so much oh, what the color it. is. Okay. You know, I didn't really know so much. Okay. But Lama, you are a comedian. Mm. Basically, you, you make fun of people. You create content. And you've gone on Instagram now to abuse everybody that is doing Valentine because you don't have a val. Has there been has there ever been a time where you did content all in the you know in the spirit of humor? Like it was funny, you wanted to make people laugh, but you went down the wrong way and people came for your neck. Absolutely. Um well honestly I'm not, not a lot, but like now we're living in a very sensitive um time period. There are jokes that you would have cracked like five years ago. I don't know a lot of well, I wouldn't say comedy but content. There's some content that you could have done five, six years ago that you'd have gotten away with because it was just, like you said, it was comedy. It, was, it wasn't anything serious. But now you have to be very careful. There are a lot of um, groups that, you know, um, that if you make a joke about them, they, they're not going to have it. Mm -hmm. So now there's, I, 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 I um, this was yesterday. I jokingly just tweeted, I haven't been seeing a lot of men are scum this Valentine's period that and then I put the eyes, it was just a banter. But apparently it was it wasn't taken lightly. So yeah. I had to I did it. Came for we'll you. come back to yeah. this conversation. But the phone <laughs> lines are open. We want to afford you the opportunity to banter with us a little before we wrap up the show because of course today is Valentine's Day. So feel free to call and be a part of today's conversation. Mm. So you say people did not take it lightly that you put you haven't been seeing a lot of men as scum mm. jokes and they, they came for you. Now on those times, you know, at those times when they come for you, what is your first reaction? Delete, block, ignore? Ignore. I was always ignore. Um, I mean, so for people that are in the public space, it's better to not see anything. But I actually deleted that tweet because my manager had called me. It was, 
I think that nowadays, normally men are scum is like, it's a jokingly thing for mm. men are not like, like their boyfriend is a bad person or you're dating a bad person. But now I think men are scum is generalized into something much more stronger. It's for female empowerment, they say, mm. for men that are just horrid or to just say that men are horrid mm. in the light of feminism. So for that reason, apparently I was treading down a thin line. It's not just even men and scum. <laughs> there's men and scum. There's women and scum. I don't think it's really about the female empowerment. No, well, that's I think it's just because some people have had bad experiences with the opposite sex. So when you've had a few bad experiences, you just say men are scum. Oh, no, Which so, sometimes like, is a fallacy of hasty generalization because men are really not scum. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm on Twitter a lot, so I see these things. I don't, I don't pay attention to it, but on Twitter, there's the men are scum um, trend. Okay. That it's not a... It's, they don't say it's as, they just say all men are scum. And then a lot of guys argue with them that why are men scum? But they're not saying that this is the tag in order to point out that men have been um, um, what's the, making women less empowered, blah, blah, blah. So I'd had to learn because I, I didn't want to delete it. I didn't come at, I didn't come at it from any point mm. of malice or any point of disrespect. It was jokes, like people that would normally tweet Oh, my boyfriend is a horrible person. I started saying, oh, my boyfriend is so sweet. I love this man. So I just jokingly said that. But when my manager said to me, you know, like, okay, be careful. So I had to take that down. No, I, I think I totally understand where you're coming from. Because today, actually, on the show, I and church I had people calling. Mm. We had people who were calling and saying their husbands were already calling them, telling them to sign to meet them or for dinner. And exactly. then we had this lady who actually called and was crying on the phone saying her husband had abandoned her for three days Before with Valentine. the children oh and he wasn't anywhere to be found. Oh. So, you know, it, it's a lot for people. But for me, I would always like it. If you want to say you had a bad experience with a man, mm -hmm. call his name. Maybe Ike Choko living in number person. seven, Bajubo Street, is scum. I'm, and very, I think I'm, it's very, fine. I'm very careful with this that, kind of topics, but yeah, I, I, do, I do want to agree with that. I think it's just fair that the person that uttered your feeling, <laughs> tag him. Is it, is it what is Look, wrong it's with It's true. You? Just take okay. it there. If you're watching and, you know, the person you're with did not hotted, yeah. that is hurt your feelings. That's what we're trying to say. But I'm using his words, <laughs> hotted your feelings. And you want to give a shout out to your loved one. Would be allowing you calling and do that for just a few minutes. Just calling, you know, give them a special Valentine's Day shout out. And who knows? Those of you who want to propose, this just might be your opportunity to do just that. Hmm. Boli Lama, what are... Your plans for 2019, of course, people usually go into the new year saying, these are some of the goals I want to achieve. Are there areas of the industry you look towards exploring? Um, a lot of times, people call me a comedian. I, I don't do stand-up comedy. I have a comical vibe. You know, a lot of my contents are comical. But um, my general strong points are hosting and acting. And I did a lot of hosting last year towards the end of the year. So this year, I'm trying to focus more on acting. I was in acting school. So I didn't take a lot of roles. I mean, the last role I took was um, in Danny's Lagos Big Boy. But after that, um, I didn't really act for a bit. So now this year is going to be more acting and a, a bit more hosting. So let's just see, look out for more films and TV shows. Okay, so speaking of acting, tell us about the invention of Dr. B. Dr. B is mm -hmm. not really acting, though. No. Dr. B is a lifesaver. <laughs> like, there are a lot of people that romantically, emotionally, they are lost. They don't know what to do with their life because they always had breaking or they just don't read signs. They just, you know, sometimes when you're emotionally inclined towards someone, you don't think mentally, you don't think mm. properly, you're, you're judged, you're clouded. Sometimes you need somebody that can just tell you, hello, carry your bag and disappear. <laughs> so Dr. B was that moral upbringing for emotional problems. So on Snapchat, I love Snapchat. I think it's the most amazing, raw, content I can make because it's just natural. So I, st I started, just one day I was bored, I was like, hey, tell me your relationship problems. And I realized that a lot of people have problems. So they sent in like 300, mm -hmm. I like 300 screenshots at, at the first day. So I started handling it and I didn't know them. I didn't know them before. I didn't know their like relation. I just read the thing and gave a very logical reply. And it turned out that I was right half of the time when they did what I said. Most of the time was right. Most of the time they just weren't looking at it in the way that they should have been. So I started Dr. B that way and yeah, it's been it's been good. But hasn't there been questions concerning you not being a marriage or relationship counselor per se and then you're doing what you're doing? That is the business because <laughs> 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 listen, I don't need certificates to tell you that 
between A and B, one is A and one is B. I like I don't say it's based. I, I always tell them, this is not like we have to pay. Oh God! Advice that you go and then say it's bullying mother that said it. <laughs> I'm looking at it in context. Mm. Your boyfriend ran away on the 13th of February. And then came back on the 16th. You are small chops. You are definitely small chops. You see what I said <laughs> when I shared my experience in life at the start of the show. Like, and then because of love, you can <laughs> think, you can want to say to yourself that, oh, he's he was busy. busy. He, went I, he was the walking. Tree. He was on the pH. He's having um oil. It's a lie. <laughs> you are samosa. <laughs> like you have to agree that a little bit of pop off. Yes, pop something pop. like you're not even chicken. Just samosa. We have to pay very winko on the side. Because obviously he's gonna come back on the sixth and say, Oh boo, boo, run away, carry your bags. Did you get like and it's that kind of advice because you want to sometimes when you like someone, you want to defend them. Your mm. subconscious wants to defend them. And you, sometimes you can't really, you know, see the situation from a logical angle. Exactly. Because the emotions are in need somebody who can see from the outside. Yeah, and the way I say it is very bang on straightforward. I don't I don't mince my words. I just mm. I want you to know that if I think that you have been extremely very silly. I will tell you that you're So, well, you know, can I play somebody is like watching this thing and feel that you have a relationship problem in this uh, life? Call me, oh. And he wants your app and your assistant. Yes. Yeah, but will, will he be able to reach you? Ah, uh, Bolly Lomo on uh, Snapchat is Bolly Lomo. Um, Twitter is Bolly Lomo. Instagram is Bolly Lomo. But for Dr. B, it's mostly on Snapchat. So you have to add me on Snapchat. What, what, is, what does Bolly Lomo mean? Um, it means, it's, it's a Spanish word, actually. Yeah, that's the story I tell. It means class. <laughs> really? No, I'm lying. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to end the show, really. Are you, so no. are you going to tell us what Bolly Lomo means before we wrap up? Bolly is from my first name, Bolaho, but they couldn't pronounce it when I used to live outside the country, so it turned to Bolly. And then Lomo is like Bolly Lomo. Lomo is the kid, Bolly is Lomo. Lomo, Bolly is yeah, basically simple. I used to just hear your name and think of Bolly and Granot. I know. So Bolly Lomo, yeah. what's Bolly? And Bolly is nice because you can tell them I'm a snack. Bolly is a snack. No, no, no. Bolly is class, okay? It's, it's class. It has an accent to it. All right, mm. we'll be wrapping up today's show. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.